happening last Friday evening from my house at the entrance of Sanctus Spirita at about 11 o'clock. And I can't imagine the reason for my imprisonment for this interrogation. It's true, it's true, it's true is a verbatim or semi-verbatim courtroom drama based on a 17th century rape trial uh, involving two Italian Renaissance painters. Um, so the young woman artist Artemisia Gentileschi in 1612 took her uh, painting tutor Agostino Tassi to court um, and accused him of rape. Uh, and the title is drawn from the words that she repeats in court over and over again, it is true, it is true, it is true, um, while she was being tortured um, to determine the truth of her testimony. So the title sort of relates to, yeah, the idea of truth within a courtroom, the idea of truth within historical drama or verbatim theatre, um, and is also, I guess, a bit of a statement of solidarity with anyone who has... Yeah, experienced rape or sexual assault. And did you, Signor Tassi, ever have a conversation alone with Artemisia Gentileschi without John and Tootsie ever present? I don't remember, sir. Right, but were you, were you a painting tutor, weren't you? So uh, surely at one point you must have just been left alone with the girl. This I don't remember, sir. I think, sadly, the show has only got more relevant um, from when we conceived it and started to research and make it and as we've been performing it over the last year. So it was made over the summer of 2018, which was kind of the peak of what became known as the Me Too movement. Um, and we were very much deliberately engaging with that through this historical material, through these 17th century court documents. Um, and what we found is that so many of the tactics that were being used in the court to discredit Gentileschi and so much of the kind of discourse around um, her situation was being mirrored in real time in the press um, with some high profile cases. I, Signora D'Ambra, have touched and examined the vagina of Donna Artemisia and I can tell you she is not a virgin. I know this because I placed a finger inside her vagina and I found that the hymen is broken. I can tell you this because of my 11 years experience as a midwife. And also reading all of these um, court documents from the trial that the show restages. Um, and this was something like a nine month trial, so there was a lot to get through. And we took those um, documents into the room with actors and tried to discover what the voices of those people might sound like. And in some cases that meant rewording the text or putting it into a modern sort of idiom because it was really quite a, an academic translation of a Latin text from the 17th century. Um, so it was about saying how can we make this feel live and real to an audience. Uh, Niccolo Bodico, a whole apprentice to Orazio. I just want to say I think you're going to be for being here, not from Tassi or anyone. Now, Artemisia is not an honest woman. My friend Pasquino said he had a... Cosimo said he was screwing up for two years, and Spiatosi said she was a whore. The only one who's got a good word to say about her is Agostino, who says he loves her, but I've never done it. I think audiences have engaged really quite emotionally with it um, which has been amazing to kind of experience that kind of live in the theatre and to feel everyone there on her side. <laughs> so <laughs> the rape trial had a huge impact on Artemisia's life um, first of all in terms of what she was putting into her art but I think also how her art was perceived. It is true it is true. It is true. We feel the weight of responsibility in terms of representing that experience. And we're, we've always been very clear that we're only telling one woman's story and we're not aiming for this to be a kind of universal comment because you can never represent everyone's voice. Um, but, yeah, to feel that we are representing that voice in a way that's connecting with people is, is really amazing. <laughs>